Hello, my name's Nathan and you're watching Robot Masters. So have you asked yourself, how do these guys clean in the open area? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you the difference in the cleaning patterns. Okay, I'll go ahead and get these guys started at the exact same time. Both robots have the dry mopping pad installed. In this cleaning pattern, they will continue forward until they hit a wall or object and then they rotate 180 degrees to go the other direction. Uh, here's where it gets interesting. On the Brava 240 in damp mode, it will provide the same spray, but also it will provide a vibrating head, which is unique just to the 240. The 380T and also the Brava M6 does not have a vibrating head, it's a static head. The M6 also has additional feature where you can change the wet mopping behavior. You can do standard, deep, or extended coverage. Once the robot has reached one side of the room, they will go to the other side and perform that area. And then they will finish their cleaning cycle with the edge sweep. So with these robots, you want to just take a towel or a physical object to prevent them from going onto the carpet. Sometimes they will go on the carpet, sometimes they don't. Here's the look of the wet mopping mode. There's two unique features to this. One is the vibrating mopping head, and two, there's a slightly different cleaning pattern than on the Brother M6. The instructions tell you to start the robot in the bottom left corner. So you will see that the robot will try to give itself additional space because you will notice the new cleaning pattern. It will go straight and view off to the left a little bit, back up, go straight, and then view off to the right, and repeat the process. So in the 240 app, you can control the amount of spray for both the damp and wet mopping modes. So unlike the Brava M6 where there's a physical spot button you can push, you have to go through the app to get the spot function feature. The damp mopping mode is very similar to what the M6 does, where it just goes back and forth to get the area. One thing to note is the 240 has the vibrating head enabled. So if you're interested in considering buying a mopping robot, I would suggest looking at my Brava M6 versus W400 video. I find that this style of mopping does a really good job getting the dirt and grime. I really like the size of the robot. Since it's small, it's able to get into smaller places. Great for bathrooms and small areas. Once it's done with its back and forth cleaning motion, it will go ahead and finish its cleaning routine with the edge sweep. The 240 does not have a laser system or camera system for navigation. It relies on its front bumper. Also, there's some special sensors like wheel encoders, accelerometers, and gyros to help give it a rough position of where it's at in the room so it knows where it's cleaned and where it needs to clean. Also, it's capable of figuring out where its starting position was. So as you recall, I started the robot in that corner. Let's see how close it got. So let's go ahead and see how well this little guy cleaned. If you like this type of video, please smash the like button. Also, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. It will mean the world to me. I provide weekly updates on these cool robots, cleanings, unboxings, you name it.